guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today with, to be honest, I seem to say this a lot nowadays, but an absolute machine. This thing, well, you may have already seen it online somewhere. It's a pretty famous car, but I feel like this thing is gonna be really rather scary. Uh, it's a 480 horsepower. 1997 Mini Cooper. We have a B-Series engine in the car, which is fully built, it's obviously turboed as well. And it only weighs 840 kilos. Just comprehend that, 840 kilos, and it runs 480 horsepower. <laughs> this thing is gonna be absolutely wild. We're on semi-slicks, a whole host of modifications have been done. And yeah, it's something really different for me. I don't really uh, tend to film many old school cars, or really cars in this kind of bracket, but yeah, I mean, theater level 10 out of 10, I can already imagine it. Of course, in usual fashion, we're joined with Dan, the owner, who's built the car, he's had it a long time as well, which is really cool. Um, so we'll get him on camera, introduce him very shortly. He can basically walk us around what he's done to it and then wish me luck. We're gonna go out in this 480 brake 1997 Mini Cooper. Now, just before we get on with the main part of today's video, I just want to interrupt very briefly to let you guys know about the sponsor of today's video, and that is Waifu. Now, today I'm actually filming multiple different videos and I'm pretty much on the go all day. Don't really have time to have a proper sit-down meal, which is where something like this really comes into its own. This is essentially a drinkable meal replacement. Now this one here is my favorite, the classic Choco. However, there's a whole range of different flavors we can go and check out. And I know it's hard to believe, but everything your body needs is all in here. I mean, this will keep me full for the rest of my working day. So a good kind of three to four hours, really. There's a total of 26 vitamins and minerals in here. It's lactose and gluten-free and very high in protein, despite not actually being a protein shake. We all live very busy lives. So something like this is ideal when you're out and about and don't actually have time to have a proper meal. This will be your best friend. Of course, if you do want to learn more about the complete Y Food standard range and also the other products they do in bar form and also in powder form, then I will leave all the details down below. And don't forget with your order as well, you can get a 10% discount using my unique code, which is displayed on screen now. But quickly, before we get cracking into the main part of this video, I'm gonna tuck into a little bit of this real quick and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, we're joined now with Dan, the mastermind behind this thing. <laughs> thank you, Luke. Uh, mate, this, thank you so much for, for coming out today. No problem. And, uh, and showing me this. It's something, like I said in the intro, which is very different for me. Of course, we have the bonnet up in usual fashion, so I think we'll dive straight in here. I mean, yeah, this has been shoehorned in here, isn't mm. it? It's very, very tight. Um, but yeah, a lot to talk about. So yeah, if it's all right to, to kind of give us a walkthrough, what sure. we're looking at. So originally it started life as a B18, or the engine I'm talking about now. Yes, yeah, so it's a B18 engine. Yep. It's been overboard. Cylinder support system, forged rods, forged pistons. Injectors are ID 1050 cc's, uh, K20 coils. Uh, the gearbox has got a longer final drive, so it's, um, yeah, top speed has not gone on about 200 miles an hour, which is ridiculous wow. in any car, let alone a Mini. So, <laughs> a shoebox. <laughs> yeah, in a shoebox. <laughs> Essentially, that's it. The turbo is a Precision 5431, one mm -hmm. of their, I say budget turbos, one of their low build turbos. Uh, it can handle 500 horsepower. Yep. The block can handle 700 horsepower. Wow. I mean, yeah. the car could probably handle 200 horsepower. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, absolutely. Um, wow. I built it as a bit of, um, bit of a toy just something that just kept escalating as yeah. cars do. Yeah, um, for sure, yeah. Just as a bit of fun. It was 200 brake, then 300 brake, now nearly 500 brake. <laughs> <laughs> Which is silly to say. Yeah. And the fact that it weighs so little as well. 840 kilos now with the cage. It's, yeah. it's, it's gained some weight, uh, like, like myself. <laughs> but um, everyone yeah. kept saying, oh, you need a cage. I was like, yeah, yeah. sure, okay, fine. No, fair <laughs> it's a full, full build, really, yeah. isn't it? And it's, yeah. it's a very unique one at that as well. I say, you never see another car like this. Um, no, absolutely. And people absolutely. love to see a Mini, and when they hear the specs or yeah. the power, they, they, they can't believe it. Yeah, but no, absolutely. Hopefully we'll get the power down today. Yeah, hopefully. It's a little <laughs> bit greasy out, but... Right. Well, yeah, we'll see. We're obviously <laughs> on semi-slicks. But yeah, moving around the car anyway, obviously, like I said, semi-slicks on the car, some tiny little wheels. So they're 13-inch <laughs> image billet split rims. Yeah. Don't look at the brakes, they're really tiny. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose you don't need massive brakes, really. Uh, well. Within reason. Within reason, well, yeah. I mean, if you're doing silly speeds, yeah, you yeah, do need brakes. Course, yeah. I mean, yeah, the brakes are not vented, so the solid discs, yeah. single pot, Metro calipers, doesn't sound good yeah. on paper. It's got some <laughs> nice grippy um, 
pads. Yeah, racing pads, it seems to work. Inside though, I mean, a lot of work's been done in here. Obviously, like you said, the recent addition of the cage, so that's added a little bit of weight. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I mean, we've got screens everywhere. It looks like a sequential, doesn't it? It, doesn't, <laughs> it looks like a sequential, yeah. but no, it's not. It's a standard box with a longer final drive no, no, uh, LSD as factory. Yeah, and yeah, obviously bucket seats, harnesses. I mean, to be honest, dare I say it, a cage, harnesses, and some bucket seats is probably essential. Yes, yeah, <laughs> no airbags. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> but yeah, it's so cool. And it, it's so tiny. Everything is all crammed in. I mean, look at how tight the pedal box is. Very cool. Obviously, numerous gauges because it's meth injected as well. Yeah, methanol injected yeah. or water meth injection. Cool. So you've yeah. got the tank in the boot. Tank in the as, boot. As you normally see. Yeah. Big old exhaust on the back. So it's a three-inch cool. um, turbo back exhaust, which is which yeah. is tricky to to fit in this car. So it's oval piping underneath ah, instead okay. of round piping yeah. as usual, just, just to get the ground clearance. Yeah, because yeah. it's so low, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's tiny. Not often am I able to see the roof of a car because I'm not the <laughs> tallest. It's a proper beast. I mean, you use it properly as well on track stuff like that so no <laughs> no i don't go on track on this i mean i have done yeah um when it was less power but yeah. the brakes um they are okay but they get very hot yeah very that's hot. true and yeah. um you just it'll, it just cooks the brakes yeah if i can dare say it, it's too too quick for the track yeah um, no, I can it gets the, the corners very fast you're stamp, <laughs> stamping on the brakes yeah you're cooking the brakes and then you talk steering out the corner true. Uh, you can't control it you know on track you want to be able to control your car if someone's yeah. overtaking you or if That's you're overtaking true. someone else yeah with this it just talk steers kind of yeah. quite badly it's definitely theatric i can imagine <laughs> it's um, i'm all about the feeling that the car yeah. gives you the soul the um mm. it gets your heart Heart yeah. pumping for Absolutely. maybe the wrong reasons yeah. in this one. But, yeah. um, Would you ever plan to, to change that, or do you like the fact that it's? It I like of, the fact that it. it's uh, it's a very drama drama yeah. filled car. I yeah. mean, I have just fitted some lower lower arms that can made me adjust the camber and the caster okay. uh, of the wheels, and that really has helped get some of the power down as well. Mm. But again, these cars were not designed for nearly 500 horsepower. True, absolutely. It's, uh, yeah. You know, 150 yeah. at best, 200. Yeah. You're pushing it. I mean, it's, it's a crazy number for some of the modern day cars. This but is it, yeah. Let alone something like this. It's, yeah, it's pretty monumental. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, I don't know whether I'm more excited or more nervous to go out in it, if I'm honest. Yeah, but, well, good luck. <laughs> but I think if that is pretty much everything, we'll get it fired up and, uh, and see if we can get some grip and go have some fun <laughs> in this absolute machine. Looking forward to it. Let's do it. <laughs> So yeah. most of that was third. Wow. Um, but again, it's just pointless, really. Yeah. I just can't get over how quick it is. And it is it's because it's so light exactly, as well. Exactly, yeah. Like 840 kilos. <laughs> yeah. 
Probably near a ton with us both. That's true, actually. Yeah, yeah that, that's true. I mean, still, that's that's remarkably <laughs> light. Go kart. Yeah, really. Literally, yeah. particular reason I put a, a digital dash up here which is touch screen and um, oh, yeah. shows me different other things so this car has actually got canvas which is quite so OBD2 really is quite yeah. rare and not rare I suppose it's an old car 97 yeah. the ECU is from a similar aged Civic yeah 98 99 maybe yeah. so back then they didn't have OBD2 they had OBD1 so sure. if there's an engine light it normally just flashes a code at you yeah so converting that to OBD2 with canvas up to the screen fair play I mean you pretty much ticked every single box very try to <laughs> yeah absolutely crazy of course the meth controller just down there as well yeah. is it dependent on the meth the whole time no so okay. only only meth kicks in now at above 12 psi yeah the 10 psi I think I've got it set to okay so it just helps with um, intake air temperatures down keeping sure. the, that down because yeah I've got small intercooler piping just physically I can't fit anything bigger small intercooler um, so it's just to keep the inlet air temperature down yeah sure. um, at the minute it's 22 degrees so that's yeah. pretty good oh yeah that's not bad Now what's quite interesting is how you've managed to fit everything, and this is going to sound weird, everything behind the grill. So, <laughs> I knew you'd bring this up, so I'm, <laughs> uh, the, the front has been extended uh, yeah. by about that much, 90 millimetres. You can't really tell unless, yeah. unless I bring it up. Yeah, um, absolutely. No one's ever come up to me and said, oh, it's the extended front. So, yeah. again, I said this to you earlier and people probably laugh, I tried to keep this car subtle. <laughs> yeah. I tried to keep it looking like a, a tickled mini, I call it, you know. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, if you look at it closer, yeah, you see the cage, the, ex the exhaust, the wheels, yeah, the intercooler, and the uh, stickers on it that says that it's 480 horsepower. <laughs> They're small stickers. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, no, fair play to you. It's a, it's a mini, which is already fun. It's already a fun car. Yeah, and then check chuck 20 times the power in it yeah it's literally. kind of like playing forza and then pressing that x button to that's, maximize it that's a very good point yeah you think i know i'm going to spend all my credits on just the most silly engine swap and yeah. everything and it's and you think this would be brilliant and you yeah. take it out on the track and you go oh i've ruined it and it, it's got one of them wobble wobble map um, <laughs> yeah. wobble tunes and it's just like uh yeah it's 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 literally yeah you're playing a game and you're like yep 480 horsepower yeah. i want to see how funny that is exactly it? yeah <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't miss that chance. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I missed it. Yeah. <laughs> so dare I ask, is it done? Is it, I think so. I mean, um, yeah. I do need to take the engine out again because I took it to pod recently yeah. and I cracked the gearbox. Uh, just the where the rear mount goes because I think uh, just it was too much grip and yeah. So engine out, gearbox out, and I just need to change the gearbox casing. But okay. um, yeah. when you say is it done, there's always something to do, isn't there? But always. I'm trying not to spend too much money on this. So instead, I just bought another car. That <laughs> is true, and that is coming to the channel soon <laughs> <laughs> because that is again look, a completely different ethos, really, yeah. to this car. Very, very special. So keep your eyes peeled for that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, mate, hey, thank you so much for for taking me out on this. No, and, no problem and at all. Scaringly stupid because <laughs> yeah. There's nothing like that. Unbelievable. And of course, if you do want to learn more about the build and how incredibly nuts it is, then I will leave Dan's Instagram link down in the description down below. But for me today, that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures. It's done to come.